My guest is Jan Lamoureux. The Lamoureux? Lamoureux, Lamoureux? Lamoureux. Lamoureux, like the high school in Scarborough. That's right, yeah. Jan Lamoureux is uh, an aromatherapist and ref reflexologist. I can't even say the word, let alone begin to understand <laughs> it. Just before you walked into the studio, because I don't want people to think I was talking behind your back. While you were outside, I said, you know, over the years of hosting talk shows, I've met people who, who've managed to convince me that uh, through hypnosis they can do things to me and... Uh, uh, I believe that you can stick needles in me and make me feel better, and uh, I'll go to a chiropractor and have my back cracked, and I know that it helps my overall health. But aromatherapy, I'm having a little trouble buying into this one, Jan. Okay. So help me along. Let's, a couple of definitions, first of all. Yeah. Reflexology. Well, reflexology is a science based on the principle that each part of the body is related to another part of the body. So, for example, we'll take chiropractors. Through the use of the work on the back, you affect each part of the body. That's mm -hmm. how it works through the nervous system. Acupuncture also works on using the ears quite often. So you press, put needles in the ears, and it affects a different part of the body. Reflexology uses the feet. And each part of the body can be related. It's not just these, these particular parts. Right, so if I have a headache, you can do something with my feet that will help yeah. the headache? Yeah. What would you do and exactly in that case? What you would work on is you stimulate the point to the, the feet are like a map. Mm -hmm. And you would stimulate the point that is the head point, wherever the headache would be coming from, and stimulate the circulation, stimulate the body's healing system or what have you, and the headache should be gone or at least improved. Right. What about something like I've been suffering with for a few weeks? Mm -hmm. Recurring throat infection, ear infection. You could do something on my feet to help that? Yeah, you could do that uh, by stimulating again the point, so you stimulate the body's natural healing process. Okay, off with these cowboy boots <laughs> right now. Let's find out now. We won't really do that. Okay. I don't have clean socks on. <laughs> Maybe course. during the commercial break you can do that. Yeah, how will right, that be? And sure. well, I'll describe it later. And the so, other, yeah. hold on. Uh, tell me how that would work, though. What What is actually happening in a physical sense? You're, you're stimulating the circulation, basically, in the body. But yeah. how does that help something like an infection in your ear? Well, you're stimulating... The infection in the ear is usually blocked up lymph glands because mm. it's, they're overloaded. So what you would do is stimulate the lymphatic system to clear it out. So you're helping the body's natural drainage process. Mm -hmm. And like just what I've done with you, I've given you a drop of lavender, and lavender is useful, this is from aromatherapy now, for draining the lymphatic system. Well, I smell great. I don't know you if it's going to help my ear. You would put it on the ear and inside the ear, and you guarantee that, pretty well guarantee, unless it's something else, that it will be much improved by draining the lymphatic system Okay, again. when you put the lavender, uh, or when you gave it to me and I put it on the back of my ear, is that aromatherapy? That is aromatherapy. Because when you hear aromatherapy, you assume I'm just going to sniff the lavender and I'm going to be fine. Well, in actual fact, the sense of smell is actually stronger than anything else. Um, for example, you can take cyanide and you'll die within, say, five minutes. You can sniff it and die within one minute. That's how much stronger the sense of smell is on the body. I've never heard that before. You can yeah, die fact. just by sniffing cyanide. Yeah. And aroma but, but you're inhaling a gas. You are inhaling, right. yes. The same with, aroma with aromatherapy. So I'm inhaling something. Even by sniffing the lavender, you would have an effect on your lymphatic system. Yeah, but I understand, though, the sense of mm -hmm. smell is, is pretty sensitive. That yeah. You're picking up, that, for example, I can smell the lavender right yeah. now, but I'm picking up a very, very minute bit of lavender in the air. Yes, yeah. yeah. I mean, I would have to, I would have to uh, sniff lavender for well, to taking one spoonful of it, I'm sure. I would never take one spoonful, but uh, it does have an effect for sure. But aromatherapy is used, you know, we can make it for internal use, use it for external use, as in muscle aches and pains. For example, tiger balm is a composite of different essential oils, and these essential oils, of course, are extracted from herbs and plants. Okay, but are you telling me there's a chemical reaction going on in my yes. body because of the aroma? Yeah, there is definitely a reaction Is it because on. I'm taking that chemical into my body and it's having an effect, or is it triggering some sort it's of... It's triggering, I think, a, a sensory device, a triggering device in your body mm -hmm. that is stimulating. The lavender, as I said, is specifically for the lymphatic system. So my body uh, senses the lavender and then creates some sort of chemical reaction of its own? It helps specifically, we've actually, well, you've actually put the lavender directly on you. Yeah, in this case I did that. Uh, yeah. yeah, but by, a, by, the, by the sniffing reaction, you do have an, I think there is some small amount of particles that do get into the system just through mm -hmm. aroma alone. So a combination of the two. Yeah, a combination. Where does someone learn this? Well, there are colleges, I learned them in England, all this information. There I would are. never have guessed you were in England. <laughs> you have a very nice accent. Thank you. 
So, um, but is it a, an extensive uh, education you have to receive for this? Well, I personally, I'm more of a medical aromatherapist, which means I also prescribe for internal use too. Um, and I've had four years full-time training in the subjects. But there, there are shorter courses, too, for people who want to use for home use and for massage therapists who want to add, say, essential oils and aromatherapy products to their essential oils to improve right. their massage techniques. I could just see my doctor. I hope he has his on down in his, his office because I keep trying to convince him. You know, <laughs> we're neighbors now in North York, and uh, rather than listening to CHFI and boring everybody to tears, he should have this talk show on in his lobby. So if he does, he's sitting there, and he's an old country Scottish doctor. Mm -hmm. going, Bill, how do you let these people on your show? It's just crap. You come in here, give me some antibiotics, clear it up like that. What do doctors say about this on the whole? Are they very skeptical? Well, I have a few doctors as clients, so uh, some doctors are and some doctors aren't. But essential oils are some of the forerunners of modern medicine today. Aspirin, For aspirin comes from the extract of willow, which is an essential oil. They, they use an extract from willow and... Um, then yeah, but so what are you suggesting? I, I have a couple of willow trees in my backyard. I go out and chew on a, a few leaves. And <laughs> no. Yeah, it's, there's usually a dis, um, an extraction through distillation, through chemical processes to, di to extract the chemical compounds. Yeah, but, I mean, how do you mm. use then willow in aromatherapy? Well, you, you can actually get the herbs to take internally. There is now a natural, for example, a natural aspirin out on the market, herbal. They call it herbal aspirin, mm -hmm. which is from the same. Well, Chemical. obviously, virtually everything we've been taking comes in yeah. some form or another from yeah. nature originally. Yeah. But there seems to me a long be taking a chemical out of willow and manufacturing aspirin, then, well, then using just aroma to cure somebody. Well, think of this, um, for example. That's a pretty Vicks, big leap. Well, say. think of Vicks Vapor Rub. Uh, now that works. I'll give you yeah, that. That's eucalyptus. That's an extract. Eucalyptus all taken from eucalyptus. And menthol products, you've heard of them. Uh, Fry's balsam, which use benzoin, which is an essential oil from a resin. Mm -hmm. You've got, if you look in through the chemist um, store, you'll find most of them are originally from aromatherapy or well, from essential oil therapy. I still have an earache. How long will this stuff take to work? Well, it'll take a little time. A couple of days? No, not a couple of days. Usually by tonight, it should be a lot better. I hope so. <laughs> Let's take a short break, and then we'll come back and talk to the audience. If you have a particular ailment and you're curious about how aromatherapy or reflexology would help you, um, I'm not saying it works or doesn't work. Let's keep an open mind about it. But the, why don't you give us a call right now? The number is 870-6400. 870-6400 is the number. Or long distance is toll-free, 1-800-668-6400. Our lines are open. We just cleared them, so you can got a bit of a headache or maybe a sore back or a cold that won't go away or a little cough or whatever it is, we'll find out if aromatherapy could help you. 870-6400. Toronto Talks continues in a couple of minutes. I'm Bill Carroll. Stay with us. It's right here in the studio. What a great job, huh? I get paid to have my feet massaged. You can just see this is when usually the president comes by with a tour, you know, some, some high-powered guy from Vancouver, our head office. So what are you doing here? Well, this is our talk show. Why is the guy sitting there with his feet up? The reason I'm doing that is we have Jan Lamoureux in the studio with us. She's an aromatherapist and a reflexologist. Now, reflexology is, if you've been listening from the start, and if, you're, if you haven't been, then why not? You know that the, this, this woman can actually, by looking at your feet and touching them and massaging them and that kind of thing, can tell what the, that you have certain problems in your body and in some cases help. Now, I got to tell you, I told you right off top I was skeptical. This woman just spent about two minutes with my feet. Told me that I had bronchial problems. Well, if she's been listening to the show, she knows I've been coughing nonstop for three weeks. But I, I'm, I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt. She was right about that. She also pointed out a couple of other things that she could not have known. One was that I have middle back problems, especially lately. I think it's mostly just stress. But uh, she said, yeah, I can tell by touching this part of your foot, which is sort of around the arch of my foot, that you have middle back problems. And you also... Uh, said that sometimes I have some, some hip problems, right? Well, sciatic, which yeah, is which coming is from that your nerve back. Comes right yeah. down. And I do. I get a lot of pain there from time to time, mm -hmm. especially if I don't sleep properly. So that's pretty interesting. I, I, I'm, I'm somewhat impressed. Oh. Now, I'm not, a, I'm not a doctor, but I, have, uh, I remember enough biology to know that 
There are a lot of nerve endings in your feet. Mm -hmm. So I guess, uh, you know, nerves... Through stimulating the nerves, you affect a different part of the body. Right. That is one theory. There's another theory with acupuncture that there is an energy system we don't know about as of yet. Right. Um, which is related to. So you can take either theory. Um, but uh, definitely through affecting one part of the nervous system, you affect another area. Right. Do you ever do that? People come in to see you for one thing, like, oh, I have an earache. Yeah. And you touch your feet and say, how's your back? And they go, wow. Well, you know there's like? a relationship all the way along. If, if there's one problem with one area of the body, another area of the body is going to be out of whack, too, because mm -hmm. the, whole, the body works that way. I look at the body holistically as opposed to just in that area. So, for example, with yourself, you have um, congestion all in your throat area, and the back of your neck also is quite congested, you know, is quite tensed up, too. Yeah, see, now, related. yeah, and I didn't even talk about that, and you mentioned that, too, and mm. I do have... Well, that, I think That's it's all sort of stress, yeah. back of my neck, right down my yeah, spine. Yeah, stress from the cold, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also, I sit here, st for four hours a day, I sit and talk, which is yeah. why I have this little new microphone where I can actually get up and stretch, which is kind of cool. Anyway, the number to call is 870-6400, and uh, we'll start putting you on the air, starting with Sean. How you doing, Sean? Very good, thank you. All right, what's I, your question? Well, I've just tried, or in the, recently I've, I've gotten into holistic medicine now. I say I get into... Basically, I've tried, or I'm still trying, a full-body cleanse. Now, the reason I tried it is a month and a half ago, I found out I had acute asthma, and I've had bronchial problems for the last three years. Now, I got into it more of a scare because someone talked me or told me how great it was it would be this cure-all and end-all. Mm -hmm. um, now, since I've been on it, I've gone to a, what you call a holistic medicine practitioner, whatever you call it, mm -hmm. and... Since then, I've been told that i got to keep constantly taking more and more of these herbs and, and things to help me. Now, I don't have a problem with that, but I'm just wondering if um, growing up on the, the regular pharmacies and the doctor's um, guidance, mm -hmm. I mean, where is the end and where, at what point do you become healthier? Like, I'm on my second week of this, this cleanse. Mm -hmm. and it's supposed to make me feel great. I haven't what really... What sort of cleanse is it? I mean, what herbs, basically, are you taking? I don't know. It's called a full-body cleanse, and it's, um, it comes in a can, and you take it for a month, and mm -hmm. you're supposed to have mucus ropes, and this, all this stuff come oh, out. Oh, you're of... taking uh, something like the Robert Gray program? or Something like that. Yeah, the Selim Huff. Oh, well, anyway, yeah. So you've been out for two weeks, and you don't feel like a new man yet? Not yet. No. I'm concern. also on Cascara. Um, yes. Yeah. What's cascara? That's a herb that cleanses the bowels out. It sounds like you're on a colon cleansing, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Um, sounds well, charming. Just in time for lunch. <laughs> well, what happens is as you clear out the colon, you also clean out uh, mucus that's also in the lungs because the colon and the lungs are connected. So as you clear out one part, the other part starts to clean out, too, as a reaction. Okay. So people start to bring up a lot of mucus and what have you, too. The thing is, if it's too much... Um, cleansing going on is too strong for you and you should cut down and go slower on the cleanse and let your body give your body time to cleanse slowly it's because your body is um, you know reacting to it it's not bad but you don't want to you don't want to cleanse up too fast thanks for calling Sean thank you this is Toronto talks Janet you're on the air how you doing Janet are you still there she wanted to know if you could suggest anything for being more fertile which I thought was a great question well Janet wants to have babies <laughs> Well, obviously, what I've, I've helped a few people through reflexology there is by working on the ovaries and uterus and the fallopian tubes, people have got pregnant, and by generally helping the body clean out itself, mm -hmm. um, it won't happen in every case, but it has helped. One of the things you said to me when you were examining my foot was that uh, often you will say to people, you should go to a doctor. Well, if I think um, the one advantage with doing reflexology, you can pretty well tell what's going on in the body. I can't tell if it's cancer or arthritis, for example, if there's a choice, but I can tell how severe it is, and if I think it's severe enough, I will send somebody to a doctor for a checkup first. Mm -hmm. So you would like to see a, a day come when you work in uh, harmony with the general practitioners? Well, I do work in harmony with general practitioners. But not all of them. <laughs> not all of them. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Michelle, how are you doing today? Hi. I just don't want people to get the impression they should f forget their doctor mm -hmm. and just come and see you. Yeah, that's right. It's not, it's not an exclusive thing. No. Michelle, how are you? I'm doing good. I already asked that, didn't I? Go yeah. ahead, ask your question. Okay, um, it's, it's different from what I said before, but um, my back, I've been having a lot of problems with my back, mm -hmm. and it's only on the right side of my back. 
and yeah. I've had massaging and everything done, but it just keeps coming back. Well, if, you, if there's a general lifestyle problem that's affecting it, then you've got to correct the lifestyle problem. And so what happens is you just keep having massage, and um, if you're doing something or your posture's incorrect or you're not doing the exercise, then it's going to keep coming back, or if you're under a lot of stress. So um, you'd have to examine what's happening there. Okay. Yeah. What well, um, was your original question, Michelle? Because I, I liked it too. Oh, okay. Um, I have uh, my wisdom teeth are coming in, mm -hmm. and uh, my doctor says they don't need to be pulled, yeah. but they are hurting a lot. And yeah, I'm well, nothing worse than that, huh? Well, oh, what's I know. useful for that? Um, it's an age-old me remedy, and even my dentist knows about it, is putting uh, cloves, um, a drop of clove oil on a tissue and putting it on there, and it relieves the pain there as they're, com as they're coming through. And it's an age-old remedy that some dentists still use. Now you know why babies cry so much at night, huh? Oh, no kidding. <laughs> okay, and can I ask one quick question? Yeah. Very quickly, yeah. Um, my roommate, um, she, when she eats chocolate, she gets back pain. Is that... Yeah. Well, there's a certain amount of acid in chocolate, and if, and if you're not assimilating it properly, um, it gets into the bloodstream, and, and it's, it's a whole process where there's too much acid in the bloodstream, basically, and it's affecting the spine. I mean, it's affecting the muscles and the joints. Thank you, Michelle. All we right. have to go. Okay. Bye. Go long distance out to Oshawa. Deborah, go ahead. You're on. Hi. Hi there. Um, I suffer from sinus headaches and sinus blocking and draining, and I've tried just about everything from traditional medicine to chiropractic. I'm mm -hmm. wondering if there's something that aromatherapy could... Well, yes. Um, so certain, for example, with aromatherapy, you've got eucalyptus that you can use and lavender, the two great essential oils. Mm -hmm. And you would mix them in, like, I would say, five or six drops, three of each, into some cream and r rub it onto the sinus area. They help to drain the sinuses. Mm -hmm. The other thing is I would examine again um, the lifestyle with diet, um, if you're eating a lot of cheese and milk, to cut them right out, and that will help. Mm -hmm. And the other thing through something like reflexology or acupuncture to prep, to have the, the area worked, mm -hmm. because it might be um, blocked a little bit mm -hmm. and needs a little bit of help. When you say work with reflexology, is that just a matter of pressing, massaging? Working on it, stimulating the circulation to the area, also doing uh, having acupressure done on the area too. How long does it take? How long does a, a session take? Because you do you. Oh did me for 10 seconds or something. Yeah, so usually I take about 45 minutes. Oh, wow. Even if it doesn't work, it'd be totally relaxing. You'd be totally relaxed, If yeah. you've <laughs> ever had a, a full professional massage, the best part is when they do your feet. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. There's just no question about yeah. that. Oh, yeah. And I, that's why, you know, now I'm starting to buy in a little bit to what you say because I start to use my own experience. And whenever I've had a massage, they do your feet and you can feel your whole body relax. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I went into it, because I was having massage therapy, and mm -hmm. I loved the feet, and it was the best, as you said, it was the best part. Just can't, the day I find a woman who will massage my feet, and I'll be glad to do hers, <laughs> I'll get married. There, I said it on the air, that's my pledge. Now, my, husband do doesn't do get, my husband doesn't get many foot massages. You don't massage your own husband, you're <laughs> a <don't> reflexologist. <laughs> I know. What's I his get name? reflexed out. Don, Don Lameter? Don, divorce her. <laughs> Find a woman who will rub your feet. Does he rub yours? No. Oh, he hasn't earned it. Naz, how you doing? Hello, Naz. Talk to me. Naz hung up. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, we still have a couple of lines open then because some people just hung up on me. 870-6400 if you want to call. Jody, go ahead. Hello, Jody. Wow, what's going on? That, that, all this talk of foot massage and everybody decided they wanted no part of it. Okay. Can, Joel, can you free up that line? Let me take them. Let's go up to Lindsay, 1-800-668-6400, uh, or uh, locally it's 668-6400 if you want to call today. Desiree from Lindsay, how are you? How are you? I'm just fine, thank you. I'm glad you didn't hang up on me. No, I didn't hang up. I don't know what you want to talk about, so uh, we'll take a chance. Go ahead. Okay, what I was going to ask was, um, is there such a thing as a preventative in these herbs as opposed to a cure, like mm -hmm. where you would mm -hmm. maybe simmer, like potpourri? Well, um... A lot of people nowadays are buying essential oils for, for that reason and scenting the house up with them, basically, to help to remove the uh, bacteria in the air and things like that, and using them generally in uh, creams and, and all sorts of things like that. Um, I think we, um, they are cures and they are preventative. And the same with reflexology. I use that a lot. A lot of people just come once every six weeks uh, as a checkup and as a preventative in that way. 
Okay, and also, um, like I, I do rub my husband's feet for me. Mm-hmm. The flooring installer in his back gets very sore. So. Good for you, Desiree. <laughs> but I just want to, you can't do damage by doing that. I, I, like, I just want to make sure. I wonder, well, I'm sure that you're not pressing hard enough, but say somebody like myself, um, you can do too much. I mean, if you work on somebody for a couple of hours, you can cause the system to react too much. For example, when I used to first start out, I used to work on people and work too hard in a sense, and they would really ache the next day. Um, It's nice to have a little reaction to it, but Mm -hmm. um, they they would react to just like they've they've done an exercise that they haven't done. He just relaxes and falls asleep. I I think you're doing it fine. (laughs) Okay, good enough. Thank you. Sounds good. If you guys ever split up, call me. (laughs) No problem. Bye. All right. Don, you're on Toronto Talks. How's it going today? Don, are you there? Hello? Yeah, go ahead. Yes, I'm calling. I Do you have, have, have a, trouble hearing me or something down on the phone line? I wonder if it, I'm just trying to figure out if we have a phone line problem. Can, are you having trouble hearing us? No, I'm not. Okay, go ahead. I, I'm an asthmatic, and I'm, mm-hmm. I use an awful lot of steroids, and I was wondering if you have any suggestions for an alternative. Well, um, the thing is, uh, what a holistic therapist would basically do is um, work on the lifestyle to try and figure out the sort of diet, because it does make a difference with asthma. Um, and also to try and clear the mucus out. Um, so there are alternatives in in aromatherapy and essential oils, but it would have to be a very slow process as you're taking steroids and things like that. You know, you'd have to slowly wean yourself off and basically improve your general health. Thank you, Don. Uh, Suzanne has a pretty interesting question, I think. Go ahead, Suzanne. Oh, hi. How are you? All right. You're going to take us in a little different direction. Good. Yeah, slightly. Okay, I've got a son. I've got actually two, three sons, but two of them are bedwetters. One is 10 years old, and the other one is 6. Mm-hmm. Now, the 10-year-old, I've taken him to a chiropractor. I've taken him down all kinds of streets. The chiropractor has helped. Um, mm-hmm. The 6-year-old, nothing seems to be working. Any mm-hmm. ideas? Well, are they hyperactive at all? No, not, no, not under medical terms kind of a thing. Yeah, do you, um, I would suggest, um, are they having anything with caffeine in, like, um, like that? No, Coca-Cola? No. And what's the general diet like? Uh, do they have sugar products, a lot of sugar and candies and things like that? Um, a bit of, but nothing overboard. Basically, they're on fruit juices, pops not in the house or anything. Mm-hmm. I mean, well, the uh, six-year-old, I mean, there's still, there's still time for him to change around. The ten-year-old, it seems like you're on the right track with the chiropractor. Obviously, there was an imbalance there. Okay. I would try um, acupuncture, actually, for that. With the six-year-old? With, with both of them. Yeah, with the six-year-old, particularly. How does acupuncture help bedwetting? Because I would think of it as more of a psychological problem. Well, um, as with the mind, as with the body, usually. I mean, that's <laughs> my, my motto. And... Because obviously must be, there might be some sort of imbalance and either reflexology or acupuncture would be able to find that with the body. Mm-hmm. And um, by helping balance at the body, it should help up with the bedwetting. Okay, if it was mm. to cure it, would it be a permanent cure or would, do you think it would have to be an ongoing, ongoing treatment? Well, what usually happens is you need a few treatments to get it going and then probably then it starts to wean yourself off them. So you would eventually go to once every four weeks, once every five weeks and, wean, and slowly as as it balances out. You sort of retrain the program, train the body into a new habit. Okay. Thank you for calling. We have time for one more. We'll make it Christine. How are you, Christine? I'm fine. How are you? All right. What's your question? Um, well, lately, when I, bought, I bought this mango perfume from the body shop. I've been wearing it for like four years, and lately, the past couple of months when I wear it, it gives me bad headaches. Mm-hmm. And I was wondering what in it that would be giving me the headaches. Well, when you OD on something and you do something too much, it affects it... Um, the sensory, or the, sen- uh, the, the sense of smell affects the, it's also linked to the brain too. And, for example, if you smell too many essential oils at once, you will get a headache. So, um, obviously, it's time to change your perfume. Okay. Yeah, it's just overreacting. I've your dated body. women who, as soon as they get in my car, I get a headache from their perfume. Yeah, and there's too many. It's, it's you know what? Perfume. I think people wear perfume so long they become sort of immune to the smell. They yeah. start to put more and more of it on. Yeah, oh, yeah. I wonder if they know. You know, there are people who work in the office here, women who work here. You know that they've arrived in the building, and they're, they're not even on the same floor yet. <laughs> and you know they're, that they're here. I bet they don't know. Yep, no. Thanks, Christine. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye. Well, I guess we do have time for one more. Angela, quickly, if you can. You still there, Angela? Hi. 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 Um, yes, I just wanted to know um, what you would recommend for some of it. Oh, I keep losing my voice for the last four weeks, mm-hmm. and... Um, 
I have a constant cough. Mm hmm Sounds like me, Angela. <laughs> yeah, well, it sounds like um, you've got a bit of congestion around there, probably a virus. Mm -hmm. And um, so what you can do that with that is, uh, again, use something like eucalyptus. Um, I'll say eucalyptus and lavender because that's pretty pretty good and to rub it around the area to heal the area mm -hmm. plus of course I mean to take try and take a herbal cough syrup which usually has eucalyptus in it too yeah the doctor has me on Omnitas Omnitas yeah mm -hmm. and that doesn't seem to be helping yeah no you need a little bit more help there so, and also again watch your diet to know you know keep off sugar products and coffee and try and have lots of fresh fruit vegetables mm -hmm. I'm yeah. doing everything wrong <laughs> no wonder I'm sick Thank okay, you, Angela. Thank you. Hope you feel better. Thank you. Bye. Thanks to everybody who called in. It's 1132, and uh, our guest has been Jan Lamoro. She's an aromatherapist and reflexologist. Gives an excellent foot massage to this woman. I'm telling you. I love this job. Can you give out your phone number if people have more questions about this? Is yeah. that okay? Yeah. My phone number is 698-0018. 698-0018. And I'm also going to be giving a lecture at the Beaches Library in Toronto on Queen Street. Um, on Monday, December the 6th, Great. 7 o'clock. All right. I might even attend that now. I'm not quite as skeptical as I was before. But I might require a 45-minute or so session to really, you know... It's a foot massage. That's the ticket. Yeah, to really get the feel for it, to really know if it worked. If my <laughs> earache goes away by tonight, I'll be impressed. Thank you, Jen. It's a pleasure to meet you. Uh,